Tell me not. In mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream. Or the soul is dead that slumbers. Or things are not what they seem. When I was four, my mom is the one that taught me poetry. And uh, I said, I can't do that. And she said, I'll help you if you try. But I won't help you if you don't try. And so I think whenever I hit something that is impossible to do, I think of my mom and I say, I will try. I'm David Howard Murdoch. I'm uh, owner of Dole Food. I always had a competitive spirit. I left school when I was 14 years old and went to work. I spent two and a half years in the Army and uh, moved to Arizona where I started building houses. I became quite successful. By the time I was 25 years old, uh, I was a multimillionaire. When I was in graduate school, Mr. Murdoch bought Cannon Mills, and I went to work for him as first a personal assistant. Then I started doing marketing. I later moved into real estate and have managed Mr. Murdoch's real estate for the past 33 years. Cannon Mills at one time was the largest producer of household textiles in the world. There were about 22,000 people working here. Mr. Murdoch bought the company and owned it for about four and a half years before he sold it. And Pilatex is the company that declared bankruptcy in the early 2000s. Mr. Murdoch went to New York to the bankruptcy auction and bought the property back. He said, I have two goals. One, to put the people of Kannapolis back to work. And my second goal is to find some way to teach people about nutrition. Seven years ago now, he decided to knock the old mill down and create a wonderful new research facility. So this was his private money that created the campus and Dole Foods simply has a lab placed on the campus. And then he tried to get all the top universities in North Carolina and some of the top companies to come here and work together to create science around health and nutrition. So we have agricultural universities like NC State and we also have universities that are interested in human health such as UNC Chapel Hill. There is no other place that has a campus with eight universities all working together with private industry to collaborate on scientific discovery. There are approximately uh, 300 scientists that work on the campus as a whole, and then Dole itself has a total uh, scientific team of four people, including myself. When I picked all the equipment that's in the lab, I brought uh, all the scientists, I checked on who knew about all of the, whether it was a microscope or whether it was a 950 megahertz machine. We actually have the biggest currently available in the world nuclear magnetic resonance instrument. There are only two of them in the world and we have one here. It enables you to discover chemical structure. And so then as a trained scientist, we can look at this chemical structure and find out why it might be important in health or maybe how we could improve it and make it better. I think uh, what we are teaching here is the most important and, and we have a lot to do with what people eat. You cannot be healthy and eat wrong.
I only eat fruits and vegetables and fish, anything from the sea. I only eat what will keep me healthy. I eat the skins of bananas, the skins of oranges, the skins of pineapple, because there is about five times more nutrients in the skin. Anything that the sun touches creates the health part of a fruit. I had always known this area for many, many years, and I decided this was where I would build it because I liked the people here and I liked the climate and surroundings. That is a place that I think he feels very comfortable. He has many happy memories of taking his sons out on the boat fishing, um, walking the trails at his home, Pity Sake Lodge. Almost every visit, he will say, is my boat in the water, even in the winter. in the living presence, heart within, and God overhead. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime, and departing, leave behind us footprints on the sand of time. In the morning when he's in Kannapolis and wherever he is all over the world, he prepares a smoothie that he drinks every morning and sometimes in the afternoon and it gives him the energy that he needs to get through sometimes a very tedious day. Longevity is a very, very important aspect of, of what we study here on the campus. Aging is not a disease, it's a normal process that everybody undergoes. If you're going to live a long time, you need to have good DNA. But what happens as we age is your DNA gets damaged and it gets older. Uh, that causes problems in health later on. Fruits and vegetables are now showing us that they can stop this damage so your DNA remains intact. We believe that the discoveries we're making today are going to allow us to age and, and live longer but we're also going to be able to be physically active. We're going to still be able to be mentally active. And I think uh, that's the really important thing. It's one thing to be old, but it's quite another thing to be old and healthy. There's an event happening today on the research campus. It's a, uh, I think about 500 people are turning up and they're going to walk uh, and bring awareness to Alzheimer's in the local area. We actually have researchers here on campus who are looking into how berries may be able to help the slow progression of brain decline as we age. And it's great for us scientists actually to see this because you know we work in our labs and we're often isolated against this kind of thing but to see people who are showing signs of Alzheimer's and the support that they get really encourages you when you're in the lab to, to do more interesting work and, and get work to discovery quicker. Mr. Murdoch um, uh, is a very hit, fit and healthy person now, uh, but he wasn't always um, so heavily committed to a, a healthy lifestyle. Um, and he was a young man uh, at some point, and uh, he had a wife who unfortunately died of cancer. When she got sick and we found out it was cancer, I thought that I could put a problem into my brain and it's a machine that comes up with an answer. But you can't come up with an answer to cancer. 
His wife died of cancer and his mother died of cancer as well. So those events really made him rethink about diet and health and nutrition. I want to know everything there is about fruits and vegetables. And we are way ahead of, I think, most any other place. For example, we can recommend bananas during exercise now. We have scientific proof. We fed cyclists bananas and we measured their blood. And we also fed them sports drinks and measured their blood. And what we wanted to measure was how the body utilised carbohydrates while you were exercising. The results showed us that the body is able to use banana carbohydrates just as effectively as it uses sports drinks carbohydrates. Nutrition is important, but equally as important is physical exercise. We have uh, various universities here that specifically research that. Um, I understand that physical exercise is very important, so I try to stay fit as best I can. I ride my mountain bike, I go running, and I really try to do this every day. It's very difficult at the beginning, but the more you do of it, the easier it gets. When I'm home, I go do all kind of exercise. Uh, other people, they gotta have great muscles. I never had great muscles. I tried to have a great brain. One of his favorite things he likes to do when he's here is to actually sit down with the researchers and get them to discuss with him what they're doing, what results they've got, and then he will take that back to Nick and say, now how could we study this at Dole? Knowledge is power. I'm always seeking knowledge from other people. And even today, at my age, I still am studying new things. My job as a scientist uh, working for Dole Food Company is to create um, information that is useful to the consumer. And the way we do this is to publish our findings. We show the consumer what we're working on and how it can impact their lives. Um, and I think we get a bit of credibility from doing that. That right there may look a little odd to you, but that's because the fire plant lines are hot and cold water. Here in Kannapolis, we are really just at the beginning, the birth of the North Carolina Research Campus. Mr. Murdoch has plans for many other buildings on the site that he's developed, and I'm looking forward to see what Mr. Murdoch dreams of next, and I hope that I can be a part of that. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the squirrel. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul.